going on, everyone? It's time to review Better Call Saul Season 2, Episode 10, titled Click. Spoiler review, make sure you have seen the episode, man. I gotta tell you, fantastic season. I mean, AMC, Vince Gilligan, his team, the writing team, the directing team, the cast crew, everybody, the acting. Fantastic, phenomenal season. Real quick, you could, you could participate or not, but clap, man. Holy crap, for Better Call Saul Season 2. Uh, has come to an end, and it's gone quick, dude. It doesn't feel like ten weeks. It feels like seven weeks, six weeks. It doesn't feel that long. And I love that. Like, as in, like, it, it, every episode, you know, there was one or two episodes where I was just meh. But other than that, it's been a great season. It's been a great ride. I've enjoyed where we've seen Jimmy McGill. And don't forget, it's already been renewed for a third season. So more for 2017. I mean, it's crazy. Let, let's get on to it, man. Anyway, it should take me less than two minutes to recap, give you pros, cons, and final score. Let's get right on to it, man. So we open up with Jimmy and Chuck at the hospital, and that is the right exact moment where their mom dies. Jimmy goes to go get food, and their mom ends up waking up while Jimmy's out the room, and, you know, Chuck's there, and he's crying, he's sobbing, and she's like, Jimmy! No, Mom, it's me, Chuck. Jimmy! Mom, it's me, Chuck dead literally dude and I just felt bad I felt bad for for one thing the mom's dead I feel bad for that but second wise Chuck like never got no recognition like he's Jimmy 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 it's Jimmy it's Jimmy Jimmy Jimmy, Jimmy. no love for Chuck man and oh I felt so bad dude it, 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 you could feel like that anger that has shit lord growing inside him sort of thing man so uh <coughs> Jimmy finds out and Chuck lies about her last word, saying, no, she didn't wake up or anything. So he never, ever told her that that's what she said. So anyway, Chuck is in the hospital. It picks up from last week where he fell and pff, hurt himself and everything, concussion, all that. He's in the hospital, and there's the electricity on him. He's like, no, turn off the lights. And they're like, no, and they're trying to like respond to him and everything. And I mean, literally, whoever plays the actor who plays Chuck, that scene alone, and I'm not bluffing, I'm not just saying that to say that. I'm being honest. When I was watching that, I was like, this guy deserves an Emmy nomination. Give him a nomination or something, because the whole series, dude, he's brought so much talent. So, I mean, he's a talented actor, for sure, but he just brought so much level and weight and love and intensity to the show. I, I love it for that, man. I love, I love Chuck, the character, man. So, anyway, he's in a room now, and Ernesto uh, covers for Jimmy, basically saying, like, you know, Chuck was saying, why were you there? You know, you, you must have set it up. You paid the guy, didn't you? And Ernesto's like, uh, sir, I called him to come over. It's my fault. And basically, he's mad at Ernesto. He kill, tells Jimmy to get out. Uh, so, now Chuck is going to go into a CAT scan, and, like, totally his brain is fried. Not, like, literally, literally like, where he'll never talk again or anything or but he's not like brain dead but they're like it hey, was he fried or something because he's not responding he's just sitting there but he's fine he has no cancer no no nothing no you know nothing a seizure wise uh, but he's not responding so jimmy's commercial we see jimmy's commercial you know like that and the flag or like you know all the veteran stuff i thought that was a really cool thing call jimmy mcgill we need jimmy we need jimmy anyway mike is uh mike buys a sniper from uh What's his name? Bobby, Bobby Balls, Supernatural, man. Buys a sniper from him, man. He's testing it out. Chuck is back home, and he's in the garage. In my garage. Weezer. See them in less than two months. Mike is going to kill Hector, man. He has this uh, gun and everything, and his car alarm goes off after a while. He goes back there, and there's a note that says, Don't. Mm, yeah, indeed. Uh, so anyway, Chuck has a room full of stuff, like, as in, like, that stuff where he covers himself, like, you know, from electricity and, like, almost like it looks like he's an alien fanatic, like, foil or whatever, all that crap he has on him. He basically covers it up. And Jimmy confesses to him, man. He basically says, I did it, Chuck. You got every detail right to a T. I did it all. I paid that kid to cover for me. I did all that. And Chuck's like... You know you just committed... You know you just confessed to a felony. Yeah. Jimmy's gone. He removes a bunch of things. He has a tape recorder right there. He, he recorded it all. Ladies and gentlemen, what did I think about the season finale of Better Call Saul? First off, Chuck. Again, I gotta tell you, the acting of Chuck, man. Fantastic actor. I mean, the dialogue given from the acting of him. I mean, just everything about him fantastic for this episode. I love the ending where he recorded it and everything because I was like, no, he didn't. Like, I was like, fuck. 
What a bitch move, but also Chuck does need some victory. He does need a little bit. I'm on Jimmy's side, but I'm also on Chuck's side, you know, so it's kind of 50-50 there, man. Jimmy, of course, Bob Odenkirk, fantastic job this season, fantastic job this episode alone, man. Jimmy McGill, such a fantastic character, very well written, very, very, you know, multi-dimensional or multi-layered character. I love him for that, man. The opening of the episode, you know, them in the hospital was very, emo it's a very emotional episode. I cried, you know, one or two times or three times during this episode, man. It's a very emotional, weighed down episode. A very intense full, I mean, it's, it, that's what's so great about a finale because it feels real it feels really well done because season one finale it was what was with him and the the big guy jimmy's friend in a bar and everything and didn't he end up dying or something you know the one that they con people like i was like come on i mean that was an okay finale but this man's a great finale for sure the commercial jimmy mcgill commercial we gotta call jimmy we need jimmy that commercial was really well done, actually, for, uh, you know, how they edited it to make it look like a commercial and everything. That was really well done. Uh, the directing, of course, and the writing for this whole episode was just really great as well. Uh, the only cons I have to say is there really is no cons. I really can't find nothing bad. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not like, you know, nobody pays me to say it's a fantastic shit. No, or anything like that. And nobody does that. I'm just saying, personally, this is my one of my favorite episodes out of the Better Call Saul series so far. Uh, I love everything about it. You know, there are a few things that I didn't like where it was going, like the whole, you know, it took long, and it, it's all storytelling. I know how Better Call Saul works, but, you know, Chuck going to the garage and everything, and it taking, like, two minutes just like him doing this. You know, slow stuff like that, little slow things like that. I didn't like where they left off a of mic because it says don't. I'm like, okay, it couldn't have been... Uh, it couldn't have been... Um, Nacho, whatever his name is, it couldn't have been him because he was just over there in the house. You can't tell me that you, he, he, Mike didn't see him move that way. It has to be someone else that said don't because it can't be him. It can't. If that's him, then I'm like, how do you explain him riding all the way over there and riding back or something? You know what I mean? So the way they left off, my, I, I love where Mike's story is going. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying exactly at that point how it ended. I was like, nah, we had the wage. People are complaining about Negan and everything. I'm complaining about this, man. Uh, other than that, I'm going to have to give this Better Call Saul Season 2 finale, man. Click an A, a solid A. I thought it was a great episode. It almost got an A+, plus, man. I've never given an A+, plus in history of my TV show reviewing, man. I never, ever have. Never, ever, ever. Um, this is an A, man. This is, And I've given a very seldom, very, very few A's, man. Great episode, great acting, great writing, great directing, great lighting, great everything about it. Give it the cast and crew. Give another round clap, man, for the Better Call Saul team. Fantastic job, boys and girls. You did a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every one of you for those who have been watching multiple for multiple weeks my Better Call Saul reviews. Thank you so much for watching. And I am confirming right now, obviously, as always, I will be back for Season 3 with Better Call Saul. Don't worry. I'll be back to review more, man. So... When the trailers or promos come out later, you know, or early 2017 and all that, you know where to go, man. Stay tuned. I review many other shows, movie reviews every week. Get ready, man. Check out the channel. Very fantastic stuff. I review Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, everything. AMC, man. Preacher coming up. Midnight, or Night Manager, all that good stuff. A lot of things are happening, man. Stay tuned. Make sure to like comment and share the video and if you really enjoyed the channel you really enjoyed the you know the review and if you want to support the channel hit that subscribe button i really would appreciate it until next time bye bye and remember better call saul